Um, I have been awarded uh, last year a very honorable uh, prize, which is that I am the most reliable person. And that is uh, something which surprised me completely last year in Manchester. So I have been presented with a beautiful prize. I am a certified master coach, which means that I have five coaching qualifications. Um, starting from life coaching right up to the executive leadership coaching. I am also published author uh, of uh, coaching articles and uh, a variety of business articles. And currently I am writing a book, uh, which hopefully will be ready in the next three months. Uh, and like I say, I'm a coach, mentor and business consultant. I am a self-starter, which means that uh, every business that I have started, I've started with no loan and I have always invested uh, my own money, but there was no investments of thousand pounds. There were just small uh, investments of 100, uh, 500 and, and up to a thousand pounds. Uh, and uh, some of those businesses have been uh, really doing very well. I am also a blogger, YouTuber, and podcaster, and I'm also a marketer. So that's my background. Over 35 years, I have done quite a lot, but my biggest experience is in customer services. So that's about me. Uh, our normal agenda starts at 6 o'clock with the networking. Uh, at 6.30, we normally start uh, our introduction. And at 20 to 6, we start our presentation. Uh, then we have a, a little break, and then we start back again with the second presentation. Today, I have planned just one presentation, simply because what I'm going to introduce you to is quite a lengthy topic, OK? So it's going to take me a quite a long time to, to get it over to you. But the topic is extremely important. It will help you. Uh, uh, really uh, a lot when you are doing your business meetings. And then after my presentation, I will tell you a little bit more about Dolphin Global Network and what we are doing. So let me start and I will get this switched. Just one second. I will uh, hopefully this, uh, that's it. So today I'm going to talk to you about a networking tool which will really help you to do your business meetings with people that you're planning to build a relationship, okay? This is something that was um, designed by a lady who used to be <clears throat> a BNI director in uh, Ireland. She is now back in United Kingdom and she is currently uh, coaching people on LinkedIn. But this template, which she have designed, has helped her to increase her income by quarter of a million pounds within less than six months. Okay? So before I go into it, I need to tell you a little bit about uh, uh, networking with other people that will really help you to get your business going. Okay? So first of all, networking is nothing to do with sales. That's the most important thing to know. That when you are going to networking events, you are not selling anything. Because if you start selling, you will actually push people away from yourself. So when you are attending networking meeting, the key thing for you is to find the people that you find synergy between yourself and that other person or people, okay? So you gather the information from them just very quickly. Uh, when you meet somebody, you just say, hi, my name is Maria. Uh, how are you? Uh, who are you? So somebody says, hi, I'm Frankie Kington. Um, what do you do? So. Basically, I, I will say I help people 
to uh, grow their business. And I will finish conversation right there. What I would do next is to ask for contact details. So it could be a business card or it could be just simply telephone number. And I don't go any further, okay? What I do do is I go to the next person and do the same thing over. So when I get home after the meeting, I sit down and I make a note, what was the meeting that I have met these people at? So next day, first thing in the morning, I call them. I follow up and I will, I will choose the person that I want to meet first. So I'm, I create myself a priority list. If I met 10 people and I've got contact details of all of them, I will then go through that list and say, okay, this seems to be the person uh, which has got similar client target as me. Let's see what we can do with him or her. So I call them next day first of all, and I arrange a meeting with them. Okay. So when I arrange the meeting, then I have to prepare myself for that meeting. And this is where that kit is coming into force. So let's say I have arranged the meeting for uh, say three days uh, later. So having this tool, I am preparing that tool to show that person before we meet, I will email that person that tool. So that person will know exactly what I am doing, how they can help me, okay? And there is one more important thing. If there's someone who doesn't know that tool, and I bet you that more people don't know that tool, then they will be very surprised and they will take you as a, a very professional person. Okay? So let's go into this sheet. So the first thing uh, you've got here is you've got the logo of your company, yes? So if you look at my uh, um, arrow here, you insert a logo of your company. The next thing is, the first point you've got is what results do you deliver to your customer? Okay? So basically, this form is in the first person. It's all about you and your business. So if you, if you think now, what results do you deliver to your customer? Roger, what results do you deliver to your customer? What results do you deliver to my customer? At the moment, I'm not doing a lot. However, if I take the, uh, if I take the catalog business, then I will say is not only do maybe do I deliver my, my products, which I can't do at the moment, obviously, but however, I have a chat with them, I create a relationship with them, so it's just more than just... Um, but you misunderstood the question. What results are you delivering to the client? So basically, you, what you deliver is that you are providing a door-to-door -door service to the client. So that's the result. The client doesn't have to leave the house. No, the client doesn't have to leave the house. So it's a door-to-door -door service. Yeah. Exactly. So you, you provide the, that. That's your solution. So that's what you put over there. Okay. Oh, you mean that's you mean the door-to-door -door service? Yeah, the, because that that is the result that the client gets from you. Yes. He gets your the, product delivered to the door. Yeah. Okay, so for instance, if you are a business consultant, yeah, what result would you would you say that a business consultant delivers? Oh, a business consultant would be, uh, I suppose, advice on how to I don't know get more clients, advice on how to retain your employees if you employ people. I think it would depend on what... Uh... Depends on the, on the category of consultant, yes. So, yeah. for instance, um, I am currently uh, doing consulting to a business where uh, we are restructuring the company. All right, okay. So the result I am delivering is a, a 
very strong strategy and uh, structure for the business to take them to the next level, okay? So you're offering them a different type of structure than they have now. Exactly, exactly, okay? So uh, the next one is, what are uh, what is my UPS? So what is my unique selling point, okay? So this is what you list. And you need to, you need to, um, you need to uh, sort of approve with the statement, wha what is it that I am doing different to my competitors? Yeah, where I am best, where, yes. I mean, that where are be... you best, in which area of your service you are better than your competitors? Well, it could be yourself. You could be a more friendly person than the competitor. It could be, you know, you you probably you might say, okay, my post sale service uh, is the best in the UK or in the uh, in Manchester or whatever, um, and you can you can prove that because, for instance, in my experience, uh, many uh, businesses forget about the post sale service. They don't do it. They don't communicate with people. So, yeah, sorry. Sorry about this. Yeah, when you when you mentioned that they don't communicate with people and uh, and uh, yeah, I've heard that from uh, successful people and um, and the, I was speaking to a lady today that uh, buys from me from the catalog but i just found her to see how she was or she's coping with the um, or managing with the yeah. question and all that she or she was she's got a great grandson and all that anyway she's about just under 80 somewhere yeah and, uh, so i talk about that but i didn't talk about the catalog at all and then that's she said, brilliant that's brilliant so that's again that's part of your unique uh, uh, service uh, post sale services okay frankie and, what would be your unique selling point um, well that's a good question that my, in this instance my unique can, uh, can i just uh, ask uh, frankie sorry roger that's okay well obviously you know that i, I have quite a few different businesses in me so i'm going to start off obviously with my teaching my unique selling point is that um, I can um, get underprivileged kids the qualification what they need to help them to succeed in life or what they want to do. So okay. I can really I can help them get the qualification what they need to actually succeed in life. Yeah. Okay. As a mentor and a coach, I'm going to help youth to transform their life, but give them a solution. Yeah, to help them. Be better people in the world, more leaders and entrepreneurs in the world. Brilliant. Thank you. Luke, what is your unique selling point? Uh, travel with stops to get the most. Travel with stops to get the most. We, we want to hear about that a little bit more later on. <laughs> Thank you very much. Sylvia, what is your, uh, what is the difference that you are providing to the customers? Mm. Uh, problems, uh, I don't know, problems uh, and watch uh, speech about uh, yours. Uh, asking my question not for a complication okay. it, is, it is missing it is missing uh, english words um and so i'm sorry okay. <laughs> uh, i know i know each each uh, is is customer service and can i and can i say what point. is your, can i say what is your unique selling point yeah is your passion uh, I, 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 my, my best working for uh, for people uh, text text message uh, best for uh, best for me face to face uh, ready uh, for English people. Okay. Uh, uh, my best, best my best working uh, okay. online is more complicated. 
it is, is, is problems her impairment, uh, problems uh, very good listen, uh, uh, words, uh, speech uh, for me. I'm explain. I'm at. I'm side. Please text me or uh, reading, reading uh, hard work. I have not understand. Okay. okay. That's my better special work. Uh, best working uh, okay. with English people. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so let's go to the next point, and I will uh, um, explain to Sylvia a little bit later. What professions or categories of business do you wish to talk to? Mm. Okay, so you list here in this area. Okay, you list. So you need to use here a uh, messages which will light up a light bulb in the back of the head of your person opposite okay so for instance if you have a um, for instance frankie he is working with uh, children with children and youth so one of frankie's uh, target market would be uh, schools and colleges okay so Frankie would need to make a research and find the name of the head of a school for instance or head of, uh, head of a uh, college or uh, he would need to say the head of a St. Joseph primary school for instance okay so when you need to have either the name of the person and the company name yeah. or the position of the person and the company name. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and now the next thing that you need to put down and you can see there on the paper, it says, why do you wish to speak to them? Ah. Okay. So you need to know your why because the person who will be introducing you to that other person, okay, would need to know your reason. Why do you want to meet that person? Okay, so you are actually creating here um, a point of sale to start with. Okay, why this is important? Because if you speak to people and you are asking them for help, you need to help them by switching the trigger in the back of their mind. And the trigger has to be something clear, something which really hits that sensor, which says, oh yes, I know that person, okay? So for instance, if you know the name of the person, say, uh, Mr. Coleman, the director of um, Calvin Klein, for instance, okay? So the, the person might know someone in Calvin Klein, not necessarily Mr. Smith, but by knowing someone in the company, he will be able or she to get you to the right person within the company, okay? Yeah. Now, if you would just say, well, I am looking for anybody, you are actually not saying anything. Because anybody, what does it mean? Okay? And quite often you will find that people will be telling you, oh, I can speak to anybody. No, you can't. You have to know exactly who are you looking for. Okay? And also another because why i'm telling this to you a, a story from sweden is really pushing into my head and i explain to you why the reason that we need to be able to know this why we want to speak to somebody there is another thing which is very important for us to know that it is not necessary to speak to a business owner to get to our target, okay? 
and I and I give you an example in a minute. The key, the quick, the key thing is, if you know who you are, who you are looking for, you can speak to anyone, and I'm sorry for using the word anyone, but you can speak to a, a person on the street. Because every person that you meet, okay, is a point of contact to X number of people which they are connected to, okay? Well, Maria, but, but that depend, Maria, what profession you're in, who you speak to. Not because necessarily, not Frankie, no. and I give you an example. Okay. Uh, let me give you the, the example. My colleague in BNI in Sweden, in Malmo, was building a, a group. And one day they decided to invite students into the business meeting. Okay? Yeah. So there was five students that have came to the meeting. And one of the members of that group, it was a lady. She was very upset to see students at the meeting. She went to the chairman of the group and she complained. She said, I don't want to see students in my group because what am I going to do with the students? What business do I go, I go, I'm going to make? So the chairman said, look, calm down because you never know what might happen. So anyway, meeting goes on. <laughs> and in BNI, the first people who, who tell about themselves are the members of the group. And then it is the turn for the visitors, OK? So the, the members are giving their own presentations. And then it comes to that lady who made a complaint. OK? And this lady is saying, my name is Mrs. Johnson, uh, and I am looking for Mrs. Smith, who is the director of this uh, a big plant, big company here in Malmo. And she sat down. So anyway, the turn comes to the visitors. And all the students are saying who they are, what they study, and so on. And then it comes the turn to one of the students who was a young, a young man. He stood up, he said who he is, and then he said the following. He said, just a moment ago, someone asked for Mrs. Smith of this company. He says, as it happened, Mrs. Smith is my mom. <laughs> And I'm very sorry, but I will not be able to provide the contact to her. So can you imagine that lady went under the table because she possibly lost a deal of her lifetime? Wow. Right, okay. Okay? Very interesting. That's the key. Uh, uh, in my group, we had a plumber, okay? And, you know, in BNI, we have only one category of business that is allowed in any group, okay? Now, this plumber happened to be a graduate mm -hmm. in law <laughs> in, in Edinburgh University. He finished uh, a law studies, okay? Yeah. He had connections as far as 10 Downing Street, okay? Yeah. And we had a visitor to, to uh, our meeting one day. And as I was the person who was uh, discussing with the visitors the possibility of membership, I had this person saying to me, I don't really know what I'm going to talk to a plumber about. I said, what do you mean? He said, well, what can plumber do to me? I said, well, I don't understand. He says, well, he's only a plumber, and how can he give me something that I want? So no, I to do book by its cover, eh? Yeah, so I looked at this guy, and I said to him, I said, do you know something? This plumber, as you call it, <laughs> he can take you to 10 Downing Street. Would you like that? And his chin just virtually went down. He shot himself up. He never said a word anymore. So <laughs> you've got to remember that when you're networking with people, okay, you don't know you don't know who they who they are connected to. 
you know, you, yeah, yeah, you yeah. might speak to somebody who is a good person, is nobody, and I'm the queen herself. Yeah, exactly. Or Richard yeah. Branson, for instance, yeah? So, you know, this is, this is what, what is important in networking. Never judge a book by its cover. Yeah, yeah. You have to first get to know that person, create and build relationship with that person, and then you can, you know, you can uh, uh, know exactly whether that person is a worth contact or is it someone that you don't really need to contact. Okay, um, you know, would you, would you, would you say that I have contacts worth a billion pounds? You wouldn't. I bet you have though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I used, I used to work with a client who whose <laughs> annual turnover was three hundred and fifty million pounds. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you see? And that's where you want to be, isn't it? Yeah. Exactly. Just... So you, you never you never know who you are talking to. That's yeah. why we cannot prejudge anyone. That is why we have to be open minded and be able to manage our contact in a way that we know exactly who they can take us to. Okay? Yeah, yeah. And it could be anyone. It could be a street sweeper, a, a kitchen porter, or a, you know, a, a undertaker. You never know who they, these people know, who they are connected to, and that's very important. So this point here, what professions and categories of business you want to speak to, is very, very. Important. So, if you have any clients in your business that you have serviced, okay. Uh, list them out because it doesn't matter whether it is large business or small the key point here is that you have clients okay so it is important welcome Mohammed we have Mohammed joining us hello Mohammed oh, yeah. hello. hello okay so the top, uh, if you have 20 clients, list them all, but if not, uh, just list as many as you have, okay? Now, the next one is also very, very important. So here, you providing, you provide tips to your uh, partner, providing them with questions that they should ask their contacts in order to help you, okay? So, for instance, uh, let's say, Frankie, um, how, what questions would I need to ask uh, a person that I speak to in order for me to get a contact for you, okay? So, um, let's say, you know, how can I introduce you to, my, to somebody? So I would say what you would say, Marie, to that person. Yeah. So basically, what I what I'm saying is that, for instance, for me, okay, uh, I would say to my colleague, um, ask people that you know the following question: Is your business having issues with its strategies? Okay. Or is your business about to uh, lose some trading? Yeah. Uh, or, or is your business about to lose clients yes. or customers? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So if they say yes, then I've got someone that you should talk to. Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So then we go to the next page. I just need to move that screen a little bit. And then, uh, Mohammed, can you hear us? Yeah, 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 I can hear. Lovely. Thank you very much. So the next one is um, is how to introduce me. Okay. So there is an example here. I recently attended a presentation by a. So for instance, uh, you have been to a networking event, and you have spoken to me for uh, a little bit, and you might say. Okay, just recently I have been to this Dolphin Global Network event 
and I've met a very interesting person who is helping other businesses. Would you like me to introduce her to you? Okay. So just examples like this. And you've got some examples here. So for instance, one of the examples is, I have heard that it is really difficult to whatever uh, in your industry. So I have heard one, it is very difficult to recruit the right people in your industry. Uh, I was at the presentation by, say, a Smith uh, recruitment agency recently they astounded me with their personal service and value. I would highly recommend them to you. So basically, you are selling, but it's a soft type of selling because you are providing solution to a problem. Okay? So it is important that you fill every single item here. And then the next one is, uh, it's an answer, when is it referral? So what situations might people find themselves in where they can refer? So for instance, uh, when you are talking to someone, uh, the best way to find out what you can help them with is to ask them what issues they are looking to resolve. Okay, so it could be recruitment issues and you know a recruiter or maybe there are some HR issues and uh, maybe they have an issue with the uh, employee and they need to resolve that. Uh, just recently, for instance, one of my clients phoned me up and he said, do you know where I can get a, a very good quality cleaning contract because I need to sign a contract with my client? Okay. So obviously, with a contract, you need to have a knowledge of somebody who is a business uh, solicitor and deals with contract issues. So obviously, then uh, you automatically uh, connect that uh, two people and they are then dealing between themselves. Uh, if, for instance, uh, you have a, a builder and the builder says, I can't find a, a decent a bricklayer, for instance. And if you know somebody who is a, a builder and have a good bricklayer, you automatically can help that person, okay? Now, a refer there is an important thing about referring somebody, okay? If you are connecting two people together, you need to remember one important aspect. And that is that before that person will call the contact that you are providing them with, you need to make arrangements so that contact will be awaiting the call from the person you are connecting them to. So for instance, if I give Frankie a contact, say to Mr. Johnson, I need to first contact Mr. Johnson to ask Mr. Johnson to accept a call from my friend Frankie Kington. And when Mr. Johnson says, yes, I will accept that call, then I am providing the details of Mr. Johnson's to Frankie, and Frankie will then call Mr. Johnson, knowing that Mr. Johnson is expecting that call. That is extremely important. Because, and, as well? sorry? So, sorry, Mohammed. So, so referral is only when someone is expecting that call, when the call between two people is pre-arranged. Okay. Otherwise, it is just a lead. It's a huge difference between lead and referral. So you've got to you've got to know that. If it is lead, you are providing then uh, that is not a referral. Then you need to include testimonials, okay? So it's what your clients are saying about your services. And here is uh, basically a space provided for two, but if you can have three, it will be even better, okay? From three different clients, testimonials written and signed are very, very important. And you don't have to list them out here. You, you don't have to write them in here. If you have a written testimonial, then you can attach copy, copy of the testimonial to this 
uh, <coughs> to this kit, to this one-to-one uh, -one kit, okay? Now, testimonials are very, very important because that's how uh, your new potential clients will be able to make a decision whether they want to work with you or with your competitor. So remember, if you can ask for uh, testimonials from your clients uh, in writing, then please do. I, I show you an example. I was, uh, I've got several uh, testimonials like this, yeah, and they are very, very important. You can then scan them and put them on your website or your uh, fan, book, fan page, whatever. So wow. please do ensure that you do have uh, testimonials. And then the last bit, bit is how can I help you, my other networks, okay? So you can list some categories of businesses or uh, uh, generally speaking, uh, if you wish to list a company that you have contact in, um, the more you list there, the better, because something will trigger that uh, the person that you are speaking to will be able to ask you for help. And then the, the, the important thing is, particularly if you are talking to a person who can give you referrals on an ongoing basis for a prolonged period of time. So basically, you use that section, particularly with people who have, who have basically similar uh, category of clientele as yours, okay? And what you do here is you basically arrange another meeting within three to four weeks with that person Okay, and you can do on the on the next meeting, you can do a review of what has happened between yourself and other people, how many referrals you have given to each other, how you have promoted each other in many ways, and what are your plans for the for the future. So it's like, although you are speaking to a different business, you are actually speaking to a partner who is looking out for your business just as well he is looking or she is looking for their own business. Okay? And that is what is true networking about. It's not about going out and having a drink and having an initial talk. It's about the follow-up and building the relationship with the people that you are meeting because this is the best way to build your business. Okay, this is the best way to build your business. And when you prepare yourself like this, and you can, you, you, you've got that well prepared, then you can, you can only review it every so often. If new things have happened, you can just add things or take things out. But this tool is very, very important because it makes your, your meeting a professional meeting and not a coffee casual coffee meeting, okay? So it makes you look professional, bless you. It makes you look professional because the other person will see that you are talking business. You are not talking uh, just casual talk. You talking business, you mean business, okay? And that, that will make you uh, uh, look very, very, uh, uh, sort of positioned, uh, uh, well positioned uh, in front of uh, any other uh, business that uh, you will be in touch with. Any questions to that? No, I think it's really good advice, really. I think it's really good advice, networking. Um, no, I think it's really good. I think it's really clear. I like the sheets we you've designed them, um, Maria. Yeah, I think they're um, really good step-by-step -step instructions. Um, yeah and yes, um, it's a, it's a, i've used that tool when i was in bni excellent and, and i tell you uh, it, it really made a difference okay um and i didn't want to use it here in dolphin global network but as an example this is a brilliant thing it's a template 
uh, the lady uh, whose name is Sam Rattling, she has given permission for any networking organization to use this template because she designed this to help other people. So if you wish to use that template, I know some of you have got it, but for those who haven't got it, please send it to me by email. Yeah. Yeah. Please send it to me by email. let me know and I will email it to you or send Thank you on messenger, whatever. Uh, this is this is a brilliant tool. I have another tool which is a little bit more difficult than this one. Thank you, Advanced. But Thank you. I think this one is, at least in my experience, this one is the most productive one. Okay. The other thing which uh, I uh, would like to advise you on is when you go networking, you need to choose the networking organization you wish to attend, because. At the moment, there is a trend for networking. There is a trend for uh, different type of networking, uh, with dinner, with drink, whatever. But most of those networking events don't really bring the results that people are seeking. Okay, so with um, with us, we've got a structure for networking. Um, we have a structure beyond networking as well. And um, when I was in BNI, and I, I visited probably every networking organization that is operating in Manchester, uh, I found that the BNI is still the best. Because even though it is regimental, it actually produces results mm -hmm. because they are monitoring the money being passed, they are monitoring the referrals being passed, and they are providing training to businesses, particularly uh, uh, to help those businesses to get the most out of their investment in BNI. Okay, and okay, you might think, oh, she is silly because she is promoting the competition. I am not afraid of competition, okay? I am building my own business and I am edifying something which is really, really good and I recommend to businesses who are re really looking to grow because there is nothing better than that. And in business, if you are not regimental, if you are not, um, um, if you are not consequent in what you are doing, your business is not going to succeed. You have to be, you have to be determined, you have to be, you have to be strategic in your activity because if you are not, you are wasting time. Okay? And this tool that I'm providing you with today is actually saving to enormous amount of time for you when you go out and network. Because it provides you, if you use that template, you should have the meeting over within the longest an hour and a half. You can do it in an hour without any problem because the other person will see that you are talking business and you are short and sweet. You want, you want solid things. You don't want to talk rubbish because you can, you can arrange a, a separate social meeting with that person and you can have a laugh and fun and whatever. But when you talk business, you need to talk business because you might have another business meeting to go to. But using this tool, it will save you enormous amount of time and enormous amount of effort during the meeting because you have a structured meeting, what you are talking about. And when you send that to your, to your partner uh, in the meeting a day before the meeting, that person should also have a read at that and then have ready questions for you. So your meeting is, is a proper professional meeting, business to business. And who knows? I'm just Why wondering. You... Sorry. If it, if it would be a good idea if we all kind of come up with different sort of like networking strategies or networking game, sort of like if she's what you come up if... with. If you, yes, if you want to really plan out your uh, networking, and you should, yeah, yeah. you should first of all do this.
plan Excellent. which networking events you're going to. Yeah, yeah. That's number one. Make a list of businesses, uh, include their name that you wish to talk to. Okay. And these days it is not easy to get the list of uh, attendees before you get to the meeting. But if you can get the list of attendees, you can already prepare yourself that when you go to that networking event, you know exactly who you want to talk to. Yeah. So Maria, do they have they do have networking events don't they, for specific professions, don't they? Is that right? They do, don't they? Uh, well, uh, BNI has only one category of business per group. Okay. So what do you mean by that? Explain so that, please. So there is no competition. Okay, because for instance, let's say you have a, a solicitor in the group. Okay. Yeah. And that solicitor might say, I don't want any other solicitor in the group. But that particular solicitor could be a specialist in family law. So you, yeah, although he, he or she can come from a larger practice where there is every category of um, legal uh, um, practice, but that person represents only the family business, the family law. Okay? So right, that, right, means, okay. that means that you can have in the same group a business solicitor, uh, you can have um, a conveyancer, you can have um, a, what you call um, litigation, and you can have criminal law. Okay, so you can have every category of legal uh, representation. If you're going to, if if you're going to construction, for instance, in constructions you've got minimum twenty categories. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, and because in construction, for instance, there is always a subcontractors, then you could have a bricklayer, you can have a painter, a painter and decorator and so on and so on. The same in the financial services. You've got uh, investment advisors, you've got uh, life uh, insurance advisors, you've got uh, protection advisors. So you've got three categories and you've got mortgage advisors, that's fourth category. And you could have all of those people in. And even though in certain areas they will be overlapping themselves, it will be actually the category that they are signed in that is the prime category in the group. But when you do your individual meetings outside of the group, you can talk about any business you do. You could do 20 businesses. And if you want to talk to your partner about your 20 businesses that's your own business nobody can stop you from doing that okay? Right, right, okay but you've got to remember that when you are in the group you only promote that category which which with which you are signed up to right so in other, in other words Amelia, you can sign up to three different categories in bni no one person can only oh, okay. sign to one category all right right okay now, the, so, other for, the, the other important thing, Frankie, is this. You are representing, say, coaching, okay? Yeah. And you are doing training and you are doing uh, counseling and so on. Yeah. When you are in coaching, that's the only thing you promote, okay? In the yeah, meeting. Yeah. In the yeah. meeting. Okay? In the meeting. Understand that, yeah, yeah. Outside of the meeting, you can say whatever you want. Right, okay, okay? yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's that's what is important. Right. Okay. Okay. Excellent. And, and that that is one thing which is important. Where you go to? How much? Is it being? Is it is it is it a yearly fee, Maria? Or is it a monthly fee? How much does it cost? Uh, BNI these days will cost you altogether about uh, thirty pounds a week. And when does it actually take place? Here? Fifteen hundred pounds. Is that fifteen hundred pounds a year? Yeah, there is a membership fee of nine hundred and seventy pounds, including VAT, and that you have to pay up front. And then you pay depends on where the meetings are taking place. You pay anything between ten and fifteen pounds per meeting, and so you, you pay that on a monthly basis. 
So when you pay 10 and 50 pounds, do you only pay when you go to the meeting or do you pay anywhere? Whether you're going to the meeting or you're not going to the meeting, you're paying that meeting fee. On top of the 997 pounds. That's right, yes. And right, the, right, okay. And how good is the actual business with it? Obviously, I'm assuming that 50% of actually succeeding is the fact that you're in BNI. It's just a matter of promoting your business and what you do. Would well, you say that? The, the thing is, is this, Frankie. In BNI, what you do is, if you are going to give referrals, good, valuable referrals, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. if you're going to invite people in, you will be visible, therefore you will get more referrals back and you will, you will uh, build your business better. But if you are, if you are not, uh, if you are only like a 90 minutes member, okay, where you just go to the meeting and you expect that referrals will come your way, then uh, that's not going to give you any uh, results whatsoever. Just a bit of both, really, isn't it? Give and take, isn't it, really, really? Well, BNI has this... Uh, Push and pull. BNI has this motto, givers gain. Okay? So the more you give, the more you gain. Yeah, I understand that, yeah. yeah. Okay? So I basically, like so basically uh, you sit down and you think, okay, so how much do I want to get out of BNI per year? Okay? And if you decide that you want to have £100,000, okay in referrals from bni from your friends in the group then you need to uh, you need to get okay um about 70 percent of referrals into the group okay so you need to give them at least seventy thousand pounds yourself right now okay okay it, does, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't work the same for everyone because it depends on the category of business, okay? Yeah, you that. Then. Because I give you an example. When I first joined BNI, I was running uh, cleaning and property maintenance, okay? So I had referrals every single week, several sometimes. And, I, and I've had some really, really good uh, referrals from there. But when I, when I rejoined BNI as a coach, okay, that was a completely different story because lots of small business owners, they, they don't even know what coaching is and they are afraid of coaches. So <laughs> they are, you know, <laughs> it, it takes a little time to actually uh, start getting clients. Um, so, you know, it's, it's different. For instance, um, well, is, you, you know what I mean? So there is... Of course there is, I know. Because you know yourself, Maria, for you to be a good coach, the relationship with the coachee is really important. So we mentor them and a mentee. So, you know, it's always about building that relationship because, you know, we know that in mentor they do a lot of matching, don't they? Yeah, yeah. Do they do that in coaching as well? Do they do matching in coaching with you? Absolutely. Do that as well, exactly. Yeah. So but, yeah, that can be challenging, can't it then? Yeah. Yeah. If you're not matching the, people up. The other thing which BNI is really good uh, is in the training, okay? Because they Excellent. are they are teaching you, they are giving you tools, they are giving you opportunities to build relationships, to uh, use the tools that they are providing for you to get more business. And that, that is what is really good about them. So, uh, something to think about, it. something to think about, yeah. Mm -hmm. Lots of people is uh, not liking that, uh, you know, strict uh, rules of, of membership. But I think in business, that is very, very important because when you, when you have got a routine, when you have a discipline, uh, you, are, you are performing better. I don't know if you agree with that or not, but you are performing much better because uh, business is about routine. Business is about um, maybe not routine, but a discipline, I should say. Uh, yeah, yeah, a discipline. If you are disciplined, yeah. if you are disciplined you're going to really uh, be good at See. what you are doing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, any other questions?
Um, but I'll just have to say, Marie, yeah, sorry, Rosie, I went to, I, I've been to one, I went to a, you know, business for breakfast, um, Marie, do you know that? I know them, yes, they are, uh, um, shall I say, um, a little, a little, uh, uh, sort of a copy of BNI. Is it, is it, I forgot his name, is he called Mr. Webb, is it Webb? I forgot the guy was running it, but yeah, they, I went to a meeting there. I mean, they were okay. They do a different thing where you put a certain, I think they put, yeah, a certain amount of money into the pot and they refer people to you. Yeah, that's exactly right. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and I did that in here, Margaret Green, yeah. Interesting. I think their yeah. fee is a little bit less than B&I, but yeah, it was an interesting it, it meeting. It is, yes, because they, they have uh, less frequent meetings and uh, they... Uh, they are not really monitoring as good as BNI is. Yeah, interesting, Marie. Thanks for that, Marie. I'll, I'll have, to, have to send me some details on that, Marie, if you want. Mm -hmm. Put it in an email with the template. Okay. Yeah, that might, might something to think about, yeah. Any something other questions? About. So that, uh, that uh, organization, okay. what time is that? I couldn't quite get it. Yeah, what time do they start, Maria? What time do they start? BNI used to start at uh, 6.30 in the morning. Yeah, that's what Br uh, but, for breakfast did. But uh, since about five years ago, uh, they were they started uh, groups, different groups at different times. They have uh, morning groups from uh, 6.30 in the morning. They have uh, groups from 8 o'clock in the morning. They've got groups from 10 o'clock in the morning, from 12 o'clock noon. And I believe somewhere in Liverpool, I think, is a group that starts at four o'clock in the afternoon. So they have so, moved. They have moved to accommodate the, the need. So how many groups should have in Manchester? How many? Probably one group in Manchester. How many members do they have in each group? Ooh, um, in Manchester, in North Manchester, there is currently four groups. In South Manchester, I think there is eleven. Uh, in East Manchester, there is three or four. Wow. Uh, overall, overall, in United Kingdom, is about 900 groups. Wow. Worldwide is just about 9,000 groups. Wow. So it's a big organization. Yeah, it's over a quarter of a million members worldwide. Something to think about, Maria. Something really to think about. Uh, I, I tell you something, uh, the nine years that I have been with them yeah. uh, have changed my life, have changed my personality, have changed my attitude. I'm very, very grateful for that nine years with them. Wow. Excellent. So, uh, you know, and uh, Dolphin Global Network uh, is about networking but it's also about um, self-development. Self-development, exactly. Yes, because what we really uh, noticed is that there are people who don't like the regimental system of uh, uh, networking. So they go to this uh, less uh, strict groups and so on. And our group is in many ways very casual because we currently we may meet once a month and we currently are in four cities uh, in UK. We are currently in Manchester, Liverpool, Stockholm, Trent and Nottingham. We wanted to start a Poland last year, but I have decided to pull out just yet for now, simply because I want to build UK first. Uh, and when I achieve what I want to achieve, and I've got a, a vision plan for this for the next 20 years, worked out, systemized, and so on, we have huge plans, and we want to go worldwide because I think there is an alternative to BNI, and not that BNI is no good because, like I told you, BNI is the best thing going. But if I can get our monthly meeting as good and people will follow the education and use the tools that we will provide for them, they will be just as good, if not better. Because although we are not regimental, but we have rules and we have uh, 
uh, we have a um, terms and conditions and we, we have some educated uh, education uh, attached to it. We are giving a little bit more to our members because we want our members to become public speakers and speak present uh, their businesses and their knowledge, share their wisdom and experiences with our members and the visitors. Okay? Mm -hmm. So uh, some of our packages may be uh, slightly the same as the BNI membership is, but there is a huge saving between our fees, annual fees, and meeting fees to the ones that BNI is asking for. Okay, so my, my aim is to give a much bigger value for the money that our members are paying. Um, and obviously, if we get big mm -hmm. enough, we may make our meetings more frequent. But at I'm the not. moment, we are taking the first steps. We are still in the in the growing uh, process. I say nappies. Uh, Glory process. process. Uh, that's but, right. But then, so, Maria, that is, I assume what you just said there, that is your unique selling point. Yes. What you just said there is your unique yes. selling point. Yeah. So, is there any more questions on this worksheet here? But just to clarify, uh, when, when, when you wrote, all to introduce me, yeah? Yeah. That's, uh, that means, is it how to introduce myself, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. So let me go back to, to this. Uh, does anyone would like to have a break or can we, are we okay to go ahead? I think, I believe, I believe in having a break, so I won't. It's a five minute break, but I'll just get a drink with me and then I'll come back, yeah? Okay, so let's have a five minutes. Yeah, I think it's been Thanks, buddy. Very valuable information, yeah. You're sending them across, won't you? Yes, I will. Excellent. Absolutely. Put the details on the on, on the um on the um okay, Zoom sorry, anyway. Yeah, in the sorry, meeting. I'm of, yeah. moving my mouse too fast and uh Thanks, buddy. Two, yeah. five minutes. Okay. Okay, so we'll see you in five minutes. Ja idę, wezmę sobie szklankę wody, ok? A be back in a minute. Sylvia? Sylvia? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm listen. Rozumiałaś zrozumiałaś wszystko? Wszystko zrozumiałaś? And tak. I 50% understand talk these people. Okay, fantastic. Mohamed? Are you with us? Uh, open microphone. Mo uh, in mood. Mohamed Ayhar, maybe? No, no. He's unmuted. On, uh, on that picture, there is a bug. Can you see that bug? Sylvia? One, 
One uh, uh, replay, please. I, I just want to understand. Na, na tym zdjęciu jest torebka. What? Na tym zdjęciu teraz, które widzisz. Yeah, widzisz... yeah I, I see it is pictures. Yeah, can you see the bag? Yeah. That bug is drawing my attention so much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> last, uh, last networking uh, is really uh, two, uh, 50, uh, one month, a job, a job, face to face networking, uh, start this coronavirus, COVID 19. Yes. Yes. They cancel all is cancel uh, <laughs> not working. But exactly. happy. It's moving to online. I'm moving uh, online. These small people uh, uh, visit uh, uh, is my meeting uh, for Zoom. Mm -hmm. Because this is in the early meeting more people online. Very, yeah, we, very small, very last, small. Last Saturday we had 10. And we had some people from America last Saturday. Yes, this is complicated. Can I? <laughs> yeah. So. No, uh, uh, Maria, I invited, invited my print, business print, uh, to, 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 to today, uh, networking, your networking, not really, not in the interested. Busy, different, busy. That, that, that means how consequent they are in their business. But you've got look here. Yeah. By the next, next meeting, by the I think it's good thing, it's in this yet for you, yours. Uh, have, 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 yeah. Come in, come in we, online. We have uh, one on the 18th, Saturday, the 18th of uh, uh, April. Yeah. So we have one that should be not income. We will have mm -hmm. online. Okay. So, but it will be slightly different because it will be joining the same meeting as we do for the last yeah. two weeks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it will be very nice. Okay, five minutes. Five minutes have have gone. Where are you all? <laughs> Oh. Mohammed, can you hear me? Wow. Roger, are you back? Uh, or oh, are you making coffee for everyone? Yeah, I'm making coffee for everyone, yeah. Right, okay, that's very nice of you. And then, uh, do, you, do you want one, Maria? You want yes, coffee? please. Two, two sugars? No sugar. <laughs> uh, you have in green tea, I'm sure. Yes, green tea, yes. <laughs> and no honey. <laughs> okay, we can start when you're ready. We're waiting for yeah. Luke to come back. Yeah, yeah, we can start, yeah. Okay. So, mm -hmm. Let me let me tell you a little bit more about Dolphin Global Network and what we are about. Okay, so our aim is to motivate, inspire, guide and support people on their way to success 
through networking mm -hmm. events, seminars, conferences, individual coaching, mentoring, education, mastermind, elite leadership club, and other offline and online activities to empower others. And our core, value, core values are, we are dependable, we are open-minded, we are loyal, we are very passionate, we are honest, we work with integrity, and we have a no-nonsense approach. <laughs> and as you can see, the first letter on of each of those words create the name dolphin. Okay? So that's what we are about. And we want to take this value not just throughout UK. Ah, unique branded solution, Maria. <laughs> <laughs> but we want to take this worldwide, okay? So now I have been talking for over an hour. So now is your turn, okay? And I would like you to tell us what your name, what you do, how you are helping others, and who you are looking for. So if you know the name of the person you are looking for, if you know the company name that you are looking for, please tell us because someone may be able to get you that contact and finish off with something that we will remember you by. Okay? So, who wants to go first? Well, okay, come on then. I'll, I'll, I'll take the prongs and okay. less of the water is not too shallow. Then I can swim. <laughs> okay, we will rescue you. Okay, you'll you rescue, yeah. Yes. So although you have to <laughs> know that I can't swim. <laughs> can, you not, can you not swim, Maria? No. <laughs> so goodbye, Roger. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Frankie, can you swim? I can throw a, uh, I can throw you uh a... <laughs> Just about, yeah. Just about Roger, just about. Oh just about. Okay, then Okay, I'll, Roger. I'll, I'll coach you in that. Then that will be my next business. No, okay, <laughs> anyway. So um how long do I have? Two minutes. Two? Yes. Okay. Right. So, well, I'll start with the beginning. I, I came to this country in 1991 and I'd, uh, I did a lot of uh, uh, language teaching, particularly French. I did some Spanish, even though that's first year at the minute. Anyway, and I did a lot of self employment at the beginning when I was in this country, when I first came, I mean. Uh, and um, I taught French and along with culture and I had, a, I had a business customer actually at the time and then I went into different colleges, prisons and all that and then my life changed a bit and I went into other areas in my life and to cut a long story so it lacks is coming back to where I started really because through, uh, through doing public speaking, I am uh, concentrating on communication and, and uh, culture, okay? And how to overcome culture differences through communicating better. So that's uh, one, of, one of my aims to do that. And uh, so I am planning to put that uh, a video of mine I've done when I did a speech onto the website, which is surviving.uk.com and that's uh, live. However, that's not quite finished, but if you want to have a look, why not? And just tell me where, where I could improve, surviving.uk.com. So uh, that's what I'm doing at the moment, but because we can find at home, and I am also doing a video on YouTube, and I want to improve on that. The idea of doing that was it would allow me to create an income and look after Gwen when I'm going past. But I still want to carry on with uh, YouTube because I find it interesting and, and exciting. Okay. So and who are you looking for? Who you would like to uh, speak to in order to uh, build your business? Well, it will be... Well, okay. That, that's I've been my fight <laughs> all the time. I've, de I've been with this public speaking is to clarify every single day what I'm doing. For me, it's not been easy. Yeah, um, I'm sure it's not easy for other people, but it'll be easier for other one. Anyway, to cut a long story short, yeah. 
So helping, uh, uh, for example, uh, maybe individual. I'm going to cut you short because two minutes have gone. So thank you very much. Uh, look, unmute yourself and tell us who you are, what you do, and how you helping others. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Lukasz Gritz, um, and uh, I'm working in, uh, in a couple of companies. Um, the one I've introduced uh, is actually related to travel, and uh, we are changing the, well, the way how people travel. Uh, instead of going direct routes, uh, we find the routes uh, that expose you the best places you can, uh, mm -hmm. you can travel with, uh, cutting the costs uh, by half or even more, so you can save 50% of, of overall travel cost uh, and visit more. And so that's one of the startup uh, we are working on. Uh, we also working on um, e-commerce platform uh, where we helping people to um, earn additional additional money um, using the platform online mm -hmm. uh, because technology actually is. Uh, enable people to uh, distribute products and services yes. uh, with, uh, networking and uh, connections and this is the biggest um, force i would say uh, right now and uh, the most valuable thing in a, in a businesses right now um, and i'm in the background of the computer science so i'm a programmer and uh, wow Pro what, what language, Luke, if you don't mind me, sorry for putting it, what language? Program? Uh, actually, I'm a passionate of programmer, uh, of, of, um, of programming and uh, computer science. Uh, is it a lot, what language is it, um, Luke? Is it a lang what specific language? Uh, I'm working in C Sharp mostly, uh, but also all of the web technologies uh, and all um, hardware technologies as well. Uh, yeah. I'm a programmer over 16 years, so uh, I've done I've done pas I've done Pascal and Cobol. Yeah, yeah. you I, know I, them, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I know Pascal. I don't know Cobol. But right. I okay. Common knowledge to business okay. language. Yeah. Two minutes have gone. Thank you very much, Lucas. Thank you very much, Luke. Thank you, Mohammed. Are you there, Mohammed? No, he's not there. So, Frankie, can you tell us? You've got two minutes. Yeah. My name is Frankie Kington. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm in the business world as an entrepreneur. My passion is working with youth and transforming the life of youth through teaching and education. I'm involved in mentoring and coaching. And I'm a public speaker because I believe that every person has a story to tell. And public speaking is a great way to tell that story. Um, what I'm looking for at the moment, really, obviously because I want to work with colleges and universities, but I'm looking for a link in, say, like, say like schools, and colleges or universities, somebody who can help me get to where I need to go with working with youth and developing their lives. So I'm looking for somebody in, like, the um, education industry. Yeah. That's really my main aim, look at somebody in it. Education industry, it could help me move my aim. Um, Business ventures forward. Wonderful. Thank you very much, Frankie. Thank you, Maria. Uh, Sylvia. Um, thank you very much. Um, uh, first uh, meeting in, uh, business in, uh, business um, networking uh, version English version. Uh, English version. Uh, um, it's interesting because uh, I want uh, uh, more or less best skills English language uh, and business fun, language. Fun, fun. <laughs> uh, uh, um, uh, thank you very much for uh, invitation. Uh, uh, from you, Maria, Tommy, uh, 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 I'm very happy to uh, see you next uh, meeting uh, for Zoom. Lovely, thank you very much. Thank you very much. So you. if you let me, I will introduce myself, Maria Kompanowski, I am a business coach and I specialize in uh, helping small businesses to grow 
and create strategies and implement systems to make their business smooth and simple. Uh, I'm looking to work with small businesses, but I also would like to work with hotels. And uh, obviously the hotels are closed down now, but any uh, business that um, works with uh, customer sales and customer services is ideal for me to work. But particularly, I am now looking to work with construction businesses. So if you know construction business, be it small or large, I am really um, wanting to talk to them uh, because I can help them to improve their business by implementing strategies and systems that will help them to have the business flowing. Excellent. Thank you very much. Wonderful. So I have- Sorry, been... Maria. Yeah. Sorry to butt in, Maria. Sorry to cut you off there, Maria. It'd be great, Maria, at the end, though, please, you could have everybody's email address, please. Uh, yes, we can we can do that. Um, and for that, you have a chat uh, on the on on. Um, the what is not, chat? Screen, is it? We've got chat here. Just one second. Uh, if you open your your chat, there is already two messages there on the chat. Thank you. Um, let me uh, just. Okay, the, if you can put your email addresses on the chat, that will be very helpful, okay? F right, Frankie has put already. What will happen is, once I have all of your emails, I will send you a copy of this video, and I will also send you a copy of the uh, list of the emails, so you can arrange one-to-ones between yourselves. Is that okay? Is everyone yeah. agreeable to that? Fantastic. Can I, yeah. so, can I, uh, can I, sorry, can I suggest some feedback or shall I give you some uh, feedback afterwards? Just, just a moment, a little later. I'm just uh, putting mine. Okay, fantastic. So, let me tell you a little bit more about what we do um, in uh, Dolphin Global Network. We have a monthly meetings, like I mentioned to you, but we also do lots of work outside of the meeting. And if someone wishes just to attend our live face-to-face -face meetings, they can pay 10 pounds per meeting, and they can pay either every meeting, or they can pay us every month via direct debit. If they pay £10 a month, there is no discount. But if they can pay us £99 up front, they have two months free and they have, uh, they have access to every meeting that we run anywhere in the world. So they only pay £10 and they can go to any meeting that we have. So if you pay £10 and you are based in Manchester, you can go to Liverpool, you can go to Stockholm Trent, to Nottingham, and you pay nothing for the meeting. Okay? And that is, that is just the basic uh, membership. If you are uh, going to take our silver package, then there is uh, 79 pounds per month or 790 pounds per annum, but you get a number of benefits. Okay? And I can tell you those benefits if you wish, but I would prefer you tell these benefits when we have an individual meeting between ourselves. So you can choose. But Frankie uh, can uh, tell you uh, how, how he benefits from uh, his membership uh, because we, uh, there is, the package consists of several things. And sadly, we couldn't do our live face-to-face uh, -face workshops, uh, but we are working very hard on doing online workshops, which is not going to be that easy, but I hope that in some way it will be working better. 
And then we have a gold package, which uh, is £99 per month. And the reason why it is £99 per month is that the member who pays that gets a marketing video, okay, for that, uh, for that membership. And again, in each of those packages, the attending of the meetings is free of charge anywhere. Okay, so if you want, if you are in UK and you want to attend all of the meetings, then you are very welcome. And I can even drive you there if you come and meet me somewhere. And if you would like to speak on any of our events, you are very welcome to do. Okay, but this is uh, our speakers are not charging any fees. They are just basically practicing their public speaking and they are sharing their knowledge free of charge with everyone, okay? Now, if, uh, if you are interested in uh, uh, self-development, these packages are including personal development as well, but we are also creating a leadership, elite leadership club, which will have a monthly half-day workshops and in that elite leadership club, all we do is we are absolutely focusing on your business, okay? So we have 12 modules where we go through every aspect of your business and we are helping you to strategize, to systemize, to implement uh, new things, to upgrade, and so on and so on. So there will be lots and lots of things happening on the elite club. Long-term plans, we are going to open Poland very quickly. We have somebody waiting in Nigeria to get uh, us opened. And we are already uh, looking at India. I've got quite a lot of connections in India. We're looking at India um, and uh, like I said, first I want to get UK going because that is the pilot scheme here in UK. Uh, we have hosts and there is an um, opportunity there for a business if someone wants to take one of our franchises. So there is an opportunity there. Uh, Long-term plans are annual conferences, uh, international conferences and so on. So there is a lot of things to be done. And I've already got a couple of uh, people working with me. Uh, they have a franchise in Nottingham and they have a franchise in Stockholm Trent. I currently run Liverpool and Manchester myself. Um, so if, if you know anyone in your city or in your area who is looking to start something like that, I will be happy to chat to them, okay? Um, Obviously, they will not do that for nothing. They, there is a, a, a business uh, uh, opportunity for them uh, with that. Um, I will not give you the details of the packages because uh, basically um, it's, a, it's a longer conversation. So we stop uh, here. And I believe um, Roger wanted to say something. Oh, yeah, in terms of feedback, yeah, you know, when uh, I came to the two minutes, yeah, yeah, maybe you could have a system whereby you'll, uh, so maybe like when the, the, when the time comes up, like, uh, then we have to put a green line or, 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 or a thing, and then at least you know you go into two minutes, and then perhaps you could give that person, it does, it, um, I don't know, 15 seconds. Yes, thank you very much for that, Roger. I will, I will uh, get uh, something uh, which will be funny, but I will get something to stop to two minutes. <laughs> yeah, can I say, yeah, can I say yeah. something as well? Yeah. Yes. Oh, I don't know. I don't know that, thank you. I don't know if you can. Come on, I'm just hoping. <laughs> okay. Yeah. What, what, what to say, Marie? Um, I think now, what you drill it on for, I think it's really important. But I think what I'm going to do, getting practice. And this obviously goes out to everyone here to get in practice to referring at least one person, hopefully a week to get one person to refer 
somebody in the bids or the global network a referral each week. So I've got to determine to find somebody for each person in the network and email them that the person's is, that details. That's what it is all about. Yeah, that's what I'm determined to do. Yeah, we, yeah. Need, we are here to help each other. Actually, I, I, I'm, I'm glad you mentioned that, Frankie. Because, yeah, because uh, that will help us in the long run. Well, that will come back to us. Yeah. I'll, if you don't mind, if I mention that, uh, on uh, on Saturday, uh, Barria, yeah, uh, um, a friend I met through the Speak Up uh, Challenge, uh, Natasha, yeah, and uh, I think she'll, uh, she, uh, she should be <coughs> on Saturday at four o'clock. And then we could def you, we could definitely invite her to this uh, kind of meeting yeah. running. So, oh. uh, so I'll, uh, so yeah, I'll mention it to her because I also I have a Zoom once a week on the Sunday afternoon with her, and I think she will be um, a uh, what do you call it? Invite her, and uh, if she likes it, she will be joining us. Um, and I think as well, sorry, Mary, I think as well what we got as well, Mary. What I've noticed sometimes. Um, because of the organisation in the industry we're in, yeah. I'm not trying to say that we feel that I'm better than anybody, but I think sometimes, really, what I get is a bit of fear around people because you feel that because it's just public speaking, a coaching and a networking, and, you know, mentoring and a coaching organisation and that and what we do, some people, I think there's a little bit of fear there because it may be a little bit shy yes, or a little bit, you know, a little bit absolutely, timid. Absolutely, yeah, so absolutely. I'm just trying to think, maybe, I don't know, could we work yeah. way around that, maybe, or maybe we could have a, like, a, a beginner's case to, or something like that to help people, you know, yeah. get into the event, maybe, does that make sense, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Uh, That's Mohammed, what I'm are you with us? Yeah. Thank you very much, because I, when I wanted you to speak, you probably nipped out. Could you please introduce yourself to us? Could you tell us what you do and how you help others? Uh, my name is Mohammed. I'm based in Yorkshire. That's very nice. Hi, my name is Mohammed. Hello. Hi. Uh, we should do something in Yorkshire for this network as well. I, I would love to. I would love to. OK, maybe we could do it together. Why not? Yeah, I do marketing in Yorkshire. Wonderful. Uh, I also do business improvement and development, market research. My advice would be to invest this time in networking online, uh, connect as many networks as you can because everything's going online now through Zoom and you'll probably reach businesses that you wouldn't normally be able to get to depending on where you're located. Like if you're in Manchester, you wouldn't come to Yorkshire. I would have come to Manchester whatever, just for a meeting. But you would be no more more likely to network locally. Yes, and absolutely. Also, Although I tend to travel to all of the four cities uh, on a regular basis, and I have been to Hull and to uh, to Gloucester as well. That's interesting. You said that, Mohammed. Yeah, because I work in the teaching education in business. Yeah, and my business partner. Yeah, we're hoping to get a contract in Bradford to do teaching education in a, like industrial cleaning and different courses, you know, for underprivileged youth or youth or maybe okay. just come out of the prison system. So we're trying to help them, giving them the um, courses, what they need to get them back to work when it's industrial cleaning, painting and decorating, construction and bricklaying. And we're looking to hopefully get a con- prisoners when they come out, is that what you do? That's right, yeah, to help them, yeah, and put them back on the straight and narrow and yeah. How long have you been doing in Manchester? Um, we set up now, we've been doing it probably just, just over a year, about a year and a half now, getting on nearly two years. So we're just uh, setting up, we're just finding our feet now and getting the contracts. And I think there's a gentleman in Gavin Lease, I think he's in Bradford, yeah, where we're hoping to work there and we're hoping to seal a contract there and why, getting them working you know, on the teacher education. Sorry? Why Bradford? Um, I think basically, um, my business partner, he actually, he lives out, he lives near, but his partner lives near there and he goes there a lot. And I've got quite a few connections there. He's been there as well. And I know there's a market for what it is that we want to do there, Mohammed. You know, so I know there's a market there and we'll be quite busy there. There's a high population of prisoners there, that's why. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And then, um, yeah, we've got contacts as well who, who, you know, know the area well. So, yeah, we feel like working there could really create a lot of value there, Mohammed. Yeah. yeah. What's your name? 
My name is Frankie Kington. Or oh, is it Frankie Advanced Hyphen PTE? Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. And actually, Frankie, I'm thinking about it. Yeah, and that the organization I used to work with, uh, which is the Bolton Labs and Girls Club uh, in Bolton, obviously. Yeah. yeah. I, can, I can give you the number now. Uh, you could actually contact them. Because if. Yeah. Oh, nice to see you, Mohammed. <laughs> yeah, I'll put my video on now. <laughs> Very good. Because <laughs> it's nice to put a face to the name. Excellent, yes. <laughs> yeah. I, I studied in Manchester. Did you? <laughs> yeah, I Excellent. The great city. <laughs> Fantastic. Wonderful. So um, that is that is um, uh, the, the the basis of it. And Mohammed, thank you very much for joining us, and thank you for introduction. So you are doing uh, online marketing for businesses. Is that what I uh, understood? Yeah, social media marketing. I'm social media marketing. On, I'm concentrating on that now because of can't really do any traditional because you can't go out. And, you know, like I I normally used to design flyers and. And leave the place to go out and meet people and give them flyers and get them to events and promote things. Yes, yeah. But I can't do that now because obviously I'm stuck at home. So yeah. Uh, well, now it's more online. I would like Excellent. to. I would like you all to invite. I would like you uh, to attend our meeting this Saturday, which is what we do for the last Saturday we did. Is it was an initially spontaneous meeting, but. I am. Uh, I, I have invited all of my business friends, and what time we have on Saturday? A, a Saturday at four o'clock. Okay. We are having a, a casual networking. Oh, like a uh, social. Like a social networking, yes. Okay. Uh, and uh, um, I will post the link out on social media and individually to you to you all, um, uh, for Saturday four o'clock. And uh, um, it will be fun. Uh, we, we talk a little bit of business, but we talk generally lots of uh, different things. Um, we talk politics. And, you know, you, can, you, you will be able to meet there some other business owners as well. I think that's a great idea on a Saturday, because normally on Saturday there's not much to do apart from cooking and cleaning. <laughs> exactly. <Yeah. laughs> and gardening. So There's only so much you can do, isn't there? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I started it as a spontaneous thing two weeks ago on a Saturday uh, by inviting just about two hours in front. I invited my friends and we had a great meeting. And then they asked if we can do that every Saturday. So we had second Saturday on the row and there was uh, even more people. So this Saturday as well, we hope there will be lots of people just to have fun and casual uh, casual gathering yeah i'll definitely tune in on a saturday i'm always free on a saturday fantastic I, I tend to catch up on emails and phone calls and stuff that i've missed during the week kind of thing yeah that's what i tend to do on a weekend just, Fabulous. Fabulous. Just, just, just double check everything that's what i do that's a good tip as well just it go is. through all your emails and make sure you have replied or set up a meeting or done some work or you know, like a um, tick list kind of thing. And then yes, yes. one day I was prepared for the week ahead. Wonderful. So, look, Mohammed is doing social media marketing. So we can we can uh, uh, talk to Mohammed and see what we can do together if, you know, social media marketing is important thing now. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Nice to meet you, Mohammed. Thank you. Thank what you. area are you from? Nice Frankie? to meet you, look. I'm from East Manchester. Well, yeah. near City Ground. And I'm Manchester, yeah, I'm a Manchester City fan. I'm just going to say that. I am a Manchester <laughs> City fan. Thanks, <laughs> Mohammed. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, very passionate, yeah. We are in Manchester when it comes to football, yeah. <laughs> oh, I believe I lived there five years, me, I know. <laughs> uh, look, you wanted to say out. something. <laughs> I just wanted to, to mention that all, all of the services that we used to um, live with uh, actually is going to transfer the trans, um, transfer technology, transfer the uh, normal um, manual uh, labor and um, all the so, so I, all of the services, all of the products we are creating uh, is going to be somehow uh, digitalized, and uh, that's why we need to look more into the 
um, this part of the technology. Uh, this virus actually is creating this um, massive change in, um, in industries, and all of the industries has has to change somehow uh, because probably we're not going to go back into the same reality that we used to live in, and uh, more yeah. and more and more um, things are going to be um, changed, um, and um, rapid development of all that actually uh, is tremendous because over the last two weeks um, well it lasts two weeks only for uh, for schools to transfer in Poland uh, to transfer uh, from normal lectures into the digital life lessons yeah, that's uh, visual. and just imagine how long it would take normally if uh, that would be uh, proposed uh, by government and th there was no proposition they ha they had to move into that so uh, that was really rapid, rapid uh, development of uh, all the materials of the ways how people uh, learn. And that uh, last two weeks uh, to be uh, introduced to all of the students. So just imagine, just imagine um, how, how fast we are moving right now. Uh, and that's, that's really neat. That look, because it's very, very true. Um, I very, strongly very true. believe that what will what will happen when we get back to shall we say normal is that there will be a tremendous change uh, for very, for everyone really there is so many so many things that is happening and um, you know uh, we will be changed mentally we will be changed in many ways emotionally and the businesses will be uh, having a complete change. Oh, yeah. I can't say it's actually one way, yeah. Yeah, obviously not every business can go online, not every business can, can be digitalized, but majority of businesses uh, can be online these days. Yes. I mean, I so. Networking can be done online without traveling, <laughs> without <laughs> leaving the, the warmth of the house, um, and can be just, just amazing. Yeah. Thank okay. you, Maria. Thank you. So Great. I am I'm very, very grateful for everyone to be here with us. Uh, let me see uh, if I just stop the share. Uh, if everyone has put the contact details. Because we can then you can then arrange one to one meetings between yourselves and see how you can help each other. So no, that's great. We have Sylvia's, we have Mohammed, we have Frankie, Roger, and uh, Luke, did you put your, yes, and Luke, and mine as well. Okay, wonderful. So, are you okay with me to send you the recording of this for you, or are you okay? Is it okay if I just send you the list of the emails? No, I think... Email? I think you can send us the recording because there is some. Yeah, you can do that. You can put it on a. You can put it on. Yeah, the website. Send us a recording. Okay. Yeah, that'd be great. You can put them on YouTube. Then count them in here. That'd be great. Okay, fantastic. Thank you very yeah. much, everyone. I will email you the link for Saturday as well. So expect the email within an hour, an hour and a half. Oh, the email, yeah. Okay. Yes, and I will. I will uh, as soon as the recording is going to be converted. I'm going to send you the email and I'm looking forward to see you on Saturday at four o'clock. And in the meantime, enjoy the rest of the days. And Thank have you, a Maria. very prosperous week. Okay. Yeah, Roger, you can send me them details, Roger. Yeah, you can ring me about 10 minutes. I'll speak to you later. Thank you very well, much. Nice to meet you, Luke. Nice to meet you, Mohammed. Hope to see you on Saturday. Hope to see you again soon. Thank yeah. you. All Goodbye. the best, Sylvia. All the best to you, you. On yeah. Maria. Roger, thank you. Thanks. Bye. Once again, nice to meet okay. you guys and take care. Speak to you soon. Take care. Bye.